Hello everyone, welcome to episode 76 of XTC's Let's Play, and today I'm over here by Macquarie again, and just to show you guys that it's uh, it's finished mining from last time, it's got a ton of these mined layers, and then it says quarry finish, uh, finish mining, pulling quarry head up, that's what it did, and if we have a look here, the quarry head is now at the very top, as it should be, and then it says at the bottom, quarry finished which is nice. And the red light is on, indicating that it's stopped working. And just to show you guys the result, here it is, a deep quarry. Now this is supposed to go all the way down to bedrock, um, like this little section that I mined up manually right here. You can see bedrock. But the reason it didn't go all the way is because a couple of times it got stuck because it, oh, because it ran out of power. Um, so it just kinda, the computer went running kept running and the all the uh, wires kept going but the frame motors didn't move anything so effectively it was running without moving and then when it got enough power to continue moving it obviously went on and so it's kind of skipped a couple of layers so I'm gonna um, sometime off camera I'm gonna put in a few more solar panels and do a, another test run just to make sure that it actually does actually mine all the way down to bedrock but so far, it's it's fine. I'm happy with what it's done so far. So yeah, that's just a bit of stuff on the quarry, and everything should land it in here, and should have already been automatically processed. So yep, wow, yeah. You see, you can tell I've got more copper than I had before, and I should probably I've got too many copper blocks already. Wow. Yeah, but that's good. It's good, everything's working as it should, and I've got tons of marble, more than I know what to do with. So, also I've got some extra gravel as well. And this is just full. Yep, I've got more than enough gravel. In fact, I might just put some of this sand away, seeing as I don't have that much sand. And I'll just let the gravel collect in here. Gravel should, oh, gravel should have moved out. Nice. Alright. And while I'm here, I'll dump uh, stuff that I collected in here. Shift clicking doesn't seem to work into in the chest for some reason. Oh, it does. No, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's so weird. I think it's got something to do with that weird uh, inventory tweaks bug that I've got going on here. So, all this stuff, I'll let it deal with that. A little laggy. It sure sounds out too loud. Today I want to work on a bit of build craft stuff in this room. And this thing right here, oil pump, is in the way. I'll move it over here. I think. Yep. Move it over this way. Now this actually shouldn't run because I haven't got it connected up to anything. And of course it's facing the wrong way. Oops. Oops. Pressing all the wrong buttons today. Oil pump. Frequency 10. Alright, cool. Why is it so laggy? Something weird's going on. Anyway. Ah, come on. What's going on? Should work, but it shouldn't do anything because the teleport pipe disappeared and yeah. But I've got enough fuel to deal with right now. And what I want to do here is put a bit of stuff. What stuff? Um, I think I'll get started crafting all that stuff. I'll need diamonds for this. So I don't think I have enough diamonds for it. I'm going to start using some build craft lasers. Let's see, there we go, there's a build craft laser. And I'll need a bunch of these. For now, I think I'll just make two. As you can see, they're quite expensive, two diamonds. And then I'm going to have to make an assembly table as well. Which is, oh, okay, I don't have enough diamonds to do this. Well, yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to borrow you and grab out, how about a block of diamonds? Yeah. 
That'll give me enough, I think. Yep, I should have enough now. Now, good thing is, I only need one diamond gear. Or, no, well, one assembly table. And at least one laser. The more lasers I get, though, um, the faster this assembly table will work. But you'll also require more energy, of course. And if you don't know what these guys do, uh, the laser and stuff, uh, from Buildcraft, you'll find out soon enough. Alright, so I can put that there. Now I need obsidian, and I remember last time I got a whole bunch here. Right, cool. So I'm going to make myself two of these lasers. There we go, just like that. Right. Redstone all around like that. So like that. No, two diamonds, that's right. And I think I can make two. Three is a good number, I figured, to have. Obviously, the more the better. Now I need to upgrade this first. What? Oh, gold gear, right. Completely missed that. Four of those. Oops, I guess I forgot. Then we can make a diamond gear. And let's check assembly table recipe again. Alright. One diamond, one of that, one of that, and six obsidian. Ta da! Assembly table. Alright. Now, laser wise, I think I've got enough to make one more. Yep. Okay, good. Three lasers. Awesome. I'll put that away. Done. Let's go back in here. I've got four left. Not many. And let's put these guys somewhere in this room. Um, I've got this nice open wall here. And I don't really know what to do with it. Because this is only going to take up a f small area anyway. Uh, yeah, I can put them like that. Some table right below it. And there's a big complicated wall looking kind of thing, but it's not all that hard to understand, I assure you. Oops. Uh, well, I think I took all my cobblestone out. Let's fix up this wall. Alright, is it possible to put them facing down? Yes, you can. Because that's what I want. Like that. So they have to be uh, within a couple of blocks of the assembly table to work, and basically, if you power them and put some sort of a recipe or materials required for something for this assembly table to work, um, when it's got power, these lasers work away and create certain products for us, I guess. That's how I should put it. Yeah. Oh, you guys will see in just a moment. I'm a bit uh, disorganized here. I need to get some power to those assembly tables. Where are my power pipes? Oh, there they are. Five. There we go. Now, I could drag pipe all the way around, but I don't really want to do that. Three, four. And I think I'll use one of those teleport pipes. Nice, I've got one handy. And true BC power. Oh, I'll, I'll make this uh, zero. Okay, I'll put it something weird because I don't want that thing running in it at the moment. I just want one of these to be connected. And yep. Yeah. All right, so. Assembly table is now all set up and good. Now what I quickly did off camera was I put an waterproof iron pipe here and that way I can control um, whether the fuel from those tanks go into these sets of engines or not. So right now it's facing that way which means only these should get filled up when I start pumping. So just ignore that these are pretty much full. Um, when I pipe some fuel into there 
Oh, there's a lever. Should go through underneath and should not go past this pipe. Correct. Nice. So I'll fill these guys up. They're connected to a new frequency, number two, BC laser or Buildcraft laser. So that's over here and really all I need to do is now put some recipes or some items to make some recipes in this assembly table. And yep, these guys are full. Okay, I don't really need to keep pumping fuel into them. But yeah, this little thing here is working just exactly how I want it to, which is good. Now, there are a few recipes in here um, that you can make in the assembly table, and most particularly you'll know these are the chipsets you can make. So red, redstone, iron, d golden, and diamond. And all they really require is well, for a redstone chipset, you just need a piece of redstone, and I'll just grab a whole stack and a bit. All right. So you know what? I'm just gonna grab a bunch of gold and a bunch of this stuff. I'm not gonna make any diamond chipsets right now, but um, to make a redstone chipset, all you need to do is put redstone in there, and you'll see it'll tell you that a redstone chipset can be crafted from what you've got in here and if you click on it it's, uh, it gets selected and when these guys receive power, these lasers um, they'll start crafting it up for me which is awesome if I put iron in there you can see I can also make a redstone iron chipset if I have gold in there and not the iron I can make using the redstone and the gold uh, redstone golden chipset and if I had a diamond in there, I could make a diamond one, but I do not want to make any diamond chipsets. Because I don't really need to use them at the moment, I guess. Um, there's also piping wire you can make, which is cool. But, you know what, I won't get into that right now. Because I don't really need to use them. I think I might make a couple of, uh, let's see, gates. Okay, to make these gates, um, they basically, they can go on your pipes and... They're cool. It's hard to explain without ha actually having any of them, so I'm going to make some gates first. Uh, let's see. How do I make gates? I need some iron chipsets to start off with, so I'll make a bunch of those. Just put all the redstone in there. And let's make eight of them. Right, so you need to select it and give this guy some power. And this. Yep, cool. Oh. There you go, ta-da! You can see they're working away, they've got these nice laser lights. And they do take a while to do, and do require plenty of energy to do, so all I have to do is wait around. And the reason I've got this chest here is when the stuff gets crafted, um, it'll be placed in this chest automatically, so that's cool. So yeah, I'll let it do its thing. And let's see, to make the piping wire, the red pipe wire, There we go. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. You need to get some rose red, I believe. And some iron. Okay, I got red soon. I might want to grab a bit more iron. And some rose red. Nice, I've got some. A bunch. Now, if I put rose red in here, you'll see that the iron, I'll now be able to craft red pipe wire as well. And if I select it, you can see it's a bit darker than this, right? What it'll do is it'll alternate between the selected components. So once it finishes making one of these chipsets, it'll make eight red pipe wires and go back and forth until I switch the lasers off. Right, you see? And you can see red pipe wires are very quick to make. Now I've got redstone iron chipset and red pipe wire. Nice. And if I put that in there with some red pipe wire, I can now craft gates. An iron and gate, an iron or gate. And it's kind of hard to explain what they do once again, but it's good to have them uh, ready because I'll definitely be using them in the future. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Alright, I'm going to let some of these components craft, then I'll be right back. 
Alright, so I am here and there is a new th something new I want to build now. I'm going to get 10 sturdy machines and probably a bunch of this stuff as well. 10. That means I'll need 60, I think. Right, I'm going to make a bunch of carpenters. And yep, I need 6 bronze and glass. Glass, glass. I'll just grab some from my chest. Um, whole stack should be more than enough. And over here, there are these nine items are the ones that I want to crate. And if you don't know what crating is, it's basically a way of storing materials, um, thanks to forestry. And as you can see, uh, one crated wood basically stores nine pieces of wood in a carpenter. And, well, you use a carpenter to create the crates, and then like that, with wood, and using these crates, you can crate items. And as most of you should know, there are several items in my chest, um, in particular cobblestone and coal, which are running uh, and dirt, are running a bit full, so I want to be able to crate them and store a bit more and silver and these these nine items basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, ten of these, and those fail. Sixty, let's see. Go. Okay. Go and ten carpenters, there we go. So I'm gonna have a carpenter for each crating recipe and one to make crates. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna need a pump to pump water to these things. And I was hoping I had a pump somewhere. Pump. There's a quarry. Nope, I'll have to make one. And seeing it's it's uh, forestry related, I thought I would do it in this room. Which makes sense. Now I've already uncovered this pipe. This pipe here is connected to my whole sorting system upstairs, so I'll probably just put all that stuff along this wall, and that way I'll be able to use uh whoops this uh this stuff here biomass was it? Yep, biomass to power those um, these carpenters, which is cool. It uh, all works out, I guess. Now ten of these guys. I don't know where I'm going to fit ten of these. 10 is a lot. And I think I have room behind here. I might just make a separate room for these things. Yeah, I probably will. There's space back here, I think. Alright, let me prepare a few things off camera and I'll be... Alright, so I've made a nice room here and I've been kind of just thinking about how I want to do this. Alright, that's wrong. And I think the best way to do this would be to kind of line them up. that. Um, unfortunately I'm going to have one gap here because this one is going to have to be separate. This one is the one that's going to make the crates for me. Just like that. You can see you'll make plenty of crates. And these will uh, crate up these items here on the top row. Not this stuff. This is just random stuff I found while clearing out this room. And Here's how I'm thinking I'll do it. Um, I want power pipes to come along here. Then off this side somewhere, I'll have my biogas engines. You know what? Actually, probably would be smart if I had the engines this side. Like that. And then off this way, I'll have my engines. Then I'll need my pump which can operate independently on this side and hmm, I want the pipes to uh, go like this like that and then down to a pump somewhere like that and then on this side here and on this side I'm going to need a bunch of logistics pipes to uh, handle all the sorting and crafting and all that stuff. 
So that's the plan. I'm going to work on it a bit more off camera and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got here a bunch of redstone golden chipsets and what I can do with those is if I first make some sticks and grab Oh, I don't have enough redstone. No, oh, I do. Um, okay, so instead of using a Hold on, I've forgotten the recipe. Logistics pipe. That's what I need, glass. Alright. So, as you just saw, I'm sure, instead of using golden gears, which require four pieces of gold, four pieces of iron, and four cobble, four sticks, and so on, you can use a redstone golden chipset, which only costs one redstone and one gold ingot. So, considerably cheaper to produce, but of course at the cost of fieldcraft energy. So, using those, I'm going to craft up myself a couple more sets of logistics parts, because I'll be using them in my, uh, in my build. There we go, 24, nice. Awesome. I'm just going to dump this redstone torch before it fills up my inventory takes up space. Um, okay, down here I've hooked up the pump and it's very slow as you can see at the moment because these redstone engines are still warming up and oh they're actually oh uh, I know just that first one that's gotten a lot of water okay that's cool that's fine and what I need to do now is uh, I need to upgrade at least nine of these into chassis pipes so they'll take more than a red, uh, just over a stack of iron I thought I had a bit more oh, it's in here that makes sense so now you can make chassis pipes with uh, these chipsets but I've got plenty of iron and I don't want to wait around. There we go. Eight. I need nine. Ooh, that's a lot of iron going right there. And I'm going to hook them up to each of these. And don't worry, they'll be connected to the main system in some way. And basically what, how I want this to work is, I've made a bunch of item sinks already and it's just basically they're going to request these materials enough space no. okay let's just do this I actually don't really need to create oh excuse me I need to create wood yeah, I'll leave that till last okay definitely need to create sugar cane although I might have to deal with that in a different way um, because it's uh, it comes from an ender chest Silver. Oops. Coal. Cobble. Let's see. Oops. Okay, see these guys are warming up. That's good. What else was the appetite? I'll create that stuff. And dirt. Um, what else did I have to do? What else haven't I done? Okay, so I've done cobble. Done gravel. Wait, was it cobble or gravel? That was cobble. Then I've done coal. Okay, this is kind of boring. I'll do this off camera. I'll sort it out. Uh, basically, how it's going to work is they're going to get requested and put into here. And they will also, I should probably request uh, crates in here as well. And that way, um, any new sets of whatever it is, let's say redstone that gets in my system will come down here 
and you'll automatically get created right away. So that's how this system is going to work. Then I'm going to need, you can see I have some black modules. I believe I'll need them to pull, um, to extract these things, to extract uh, the created result out of the carpenter. Pull that out and store that inside the chest upstairs. So yeah, let me work on this a bit more and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so I've done quite a bit of work off camera and now I'm just dumping in all this silver and hoping that it all works. And I'll show you what I've done downstairs. It's pretty crazy. Um, I spent quite a while just get it all working. And yes. Boom. Yeah, it's a lot of crazy stuff, but I'll try and explain it. Oh. Okay, where's the one with the silver in it? Over there. Okay, so what happens is, um, let's see if it's working first. Nice, it is. Okay, you see all this stuff is getting crated, as it should. In each one of these carpenters has its own recipe, right, as you can see. And in each of these pipes, item sync requests silver. And I put this there earlier because I thought it would work, but it doesn't. It actually doesn't do anything, so I can remove it. So what it'll do, any silver coming into my system will now sit in here, um, or automatically get routed over here, and it'll get created when there is work. So, as you can see, this, uh, this AND gate, I've made a bunch of iron AND gates on all of these. Um, these two don't have a recipe. Um, and when he has work, it'll send a red pipe signal, which is that red pipe stuff that I made before. And they can be placed on these pipes. And that is connected to up here. Now, this iron AND gate, when there is a red pipe signal, switches on the pipe. This pipe that you, s well, this pipe that you see here is a power switch pipe. And when it receives a redstone signal, it will allow craft power to pass through it. So basically when there's work, he'll switch on and the power will supply. Yep, well, what happened? Don't know what happened there. But that's how that works. And yeah, these guys are constantly on. I don't know how to change that. It would be a lot more complicated because these guys require lava to heat up as well. So I decided it was just best to leave it on. These are liquid supply pipes, supplying these engines with biomass, which is created over here, as you guys should know, and gets bottled over here, and it's full. So that's fine. Um, down here, each one of these carpenters has its own supply pipe that keeps it supplied with five crates. And over here is a carpenter that makes the crates and it gets pumped out by this uh, whoops, advanced wooden pipe only pumps out crates, nothing else, so it won't pump out the wood and over here is a chest full of crates now, I don't want too many at a time so I just fill up the rest of the cobble and connected to this chest is another iron and gate which says when the inventory is full send a red pipe signal Having a red pipe signal on will disable this power switch pipe, as you can see. When the red pipe signal is off, it will switch it on. But right now it's on, so it's not doing anything. Yep. And you can see, when there is no red pipe signal, as I just removed the red pipe, it connects the power, which starts making the stuff. Yep. And the reason why I didn't show myself building all of this on camera is... It was complicated. Yeah, as you can probably tell. If anyone wants a more detailed explanation on how to do this, um, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Maybe I might even make a tutorial video on this. But yeah, it's complicated, but it's working, which I'm very happy about. Um, basically, all I really need to do now is cover this floor up. Um, yeah, lots of piping here. Don't need that. Oh, whoops didn't need that weird pipe there. So yeah, all of these are connected to this pipe. And as you can see, the crated silver... Come on, get down. Goes back up to... At the moment, 
it goes to the default chest, which is over there. Here we go. Yep, so I've got a bunch of crated silver. And the reason I'm creating silver is because you can't make silver blocks. Otherwise, I would have just done this. It's so much easier. And what that means, though, unfortunately, I'm going to have to change a bunch of these uh, pipes down here. Instead of using polymorphic, I'm going to have to use um, item sinks, which kind of sucks. But um, that's my solution at the moment, that is. But in the future, I'll see if I can come up with something better. At the moment, created silver goes in there, and so does copper, tin, iron, gold, brass, bronze. Wait, is that too many? Because it can only fit so many items in here. Let's see, bronze, iron, tin, copper, brass, gold. Okay, and fit two more. What else? Bronze and find copper wire. Okay, that's fine. Oops. If I ever need to, I can always upgrade these chassis pipes to a... Uh, oops, I already have brass. All these chassis pipes to Mark three chassis pipes. So I can have space to put in another item sink and add more items to it, but... Right now, I'll manage. It's okay. I just have to do a bit of a uh, working around with these pipes, but... The main thing is what I've done down here. So, that's it. Unfortunately, that's all I can put into this episode. And, like I said earlier, um, if you have any questions about how this works, um, drop a comment and I'll try my best to help you explain how it works. And you can right click, by the way, on created items to open it up into dirt, which probably landed in there. So, um, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, anyway. and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And while I'm here, I'll dump uh, stuff that I collected in here. Shift clicking doesn't seem to work into end a chest for some reason. Oh, it does. No, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's so weird. I think it's got something to do with that weird uh, inventory tweaks bug that I've got going on here. So all this stuff, I'll let it deal with that. It's a little laggy. It sure sounds out too loud. Today I want to work on a bit of build craft stuff in this room. And this thing right here, oil pump, is in the way. I'll move it over here. I think. Yep. Move it over this way. Now, this actually shouldn't run because I haven't got it connected up to anything. And of course it's facing the wrong way. Oops. Oops. Pressing all the wrong buttons today. Oil pump. Frequency 10. Alright, cool. Why is it so late? Went on. And so it's kind of skipped a couple of layers. So, I'm going to, um, sometime off camera, I'm going to put in a few more solar panels and do a, another test run, just to make sure that it actually does actually mine all the way down to bedrock, but so far it's it's fine. I'm happy with what it's done so far. So, yeah, that's just a bit of stuff on the quarry, and everything should land it in here, and should have already been automatically processed. So, yep. Wow, yeah, you see, you can tell I've got more copper than I had before. And I should probably... I've got too many copper blocks already. Wow. Yeah, but that's good. It's good, everything's working as it should. I've got tons of marble. More than I know what to do with. So, also I've got some extra gravel as well. And this is just full. Yep, I've got more than enough gravel. In fact, I might just put some of this sand away, seeing as I don't have that much sand. And I'll just let the gravel collect in here. Oh, gravel should oh, gravel should have moved out. Nice. Alright. And no, well, one assembly table. And at least one laser. The more lasers I get though, um, 
the faster this assembly table will work but you'll also require more energy of course and if you don't know what these guys do uh, the laser and stuff uh, from Buildcraft, you'll find out soon enough alright so I can put that there now I need obsidian and I remember last time I got a whole bunch here right, cool so I'm going to make myself two of these lasers there we go, just like that right redstone all around like that so like that, no two diamonds, that's right and I think I can make two three is a good number I figured to have but obviously the more the better now I need to upgrade this first what? oh gold gear right completely missed that four of those oops I guess I forgot Hello everyone, welcome to episode 76 of XTC's Let's Play, and today I'm over here by Macquarie again, and just to show you guys that it's uh, it's finished mining from last time, it's got a ton of these mined layers, and then it says quarry finish, uh, finish mining, pulling quarry head up, that's what it did, and if we have a look here, the quarry head is now at the very top, as it should be, and then it says at the bottom, quarry finished which is nice. And the red light is on indicating that it's stopped working. And just to show you guys the result, here it is, a deep quarry. Now this is supposed to go all the way down to bedrock, um, like this little section that I mined up manually right here. You can see bedrock. But the reason it didn't go all the way is because a couple of times it got stuck because it, oh, because it ran out of power. Um, so it just kinda the computer went running kept running and the all the uh, wires kept going but the frame motors didn't move anything so effectively it was running without moving and then when it got enough power to continue moving it obviously hey, something weird's gone on anyway there we go ah come on what's going on should work, but it shouldn't do anything because the teleport pipe disappeared, and yeah. But I've got enough fuel to deal with right now, and what I want to do here is put a bit of stuff. What stuff? Um, I'll get started crafting all that stuff. I'll need diamonds for this, so I don't think I have enough diamonds for it. I'm going to start using some buildcraft lasers. Let's see, there we go. There's a buildcraft laser, and I'll need a bunch of these. For now, I think I'll just make two. As you can see, they're quite expensive, two diamonds. And then I'm going to have to make an assembly table as well. Which is... Oh, okay, I don't have enough diamonds to do this. Well... Yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to borrow you. And grab out... How about a block of diamonds? Yeah. That'll give me enough, I think. Yep, I should have enough now. The good thing is, I only need one diamond gear, 